there, this is Liz. Thank you for watching our YouTube channel at rvmax.us. Today we have one of my favorites. It's a Road Track 210 Versatile 2007. It's a one owner motorhome, garage kept. It's only got 51,000 miles on it. It was bought right here in South Carolina. It lived its whole life here, except of course when it travels. So we're gonna talk about it. Let's get going. All right, let's get started with the outside of the motorhome, starting up front with the engine. Like I said earlier, it's got only 51,000 miles on it, and you can come on over here and look at it. Let me, uh, let me go crank it up so you can hear it. And it's a six liter Chevy V8. Pop the hood. There it is. Can get it. There it is. Aha. Uh -huh. oh. There we go. Okay, it's got 300 horsepower, and this is the bigger engine. There are a couple of options. This is the bigger option engine on it. We'll talk about more about the uh, generator and everything inside. Okay. Let me cut the engine off. There you go. I'll shut it. I got to release it and shut it again. It's got a radio, backup monitor and everything. Okay. It's only 21, 22 feet long. It's got fairly new tires, just a, a, no, no apparent dry rot or anything. Um, it's not the big RV tire, so it's kind of a regular automobile truck tire, so you're not spending thousands of dollars on the, on the tires when you have to replace them. Two six volt batteries. That's 150 amps total. And I like the way these lock, it's pretty cool. A little storage area in here. And it carries, you can put up to 50 pounds load limit. It's pretty good. Okay, come on in back here. It's got a spare, full spare tire. Towing capacity, I want to check, but it's a 7,500 pound towing capacity, but I'll double check those numbers, so let me do that. Okay, here's where you've got a little wash bay here, water hose. Okay, right here. This is fun, it's so tiny and small. Here is you have like a little storage. You can, looks like you can put ice in it. Maybe use it as an outside cooler because it's got a drain hole. Okay. And then here's where your, your black water tank is, your gray water releases. I like where the, how it's black's black and the gray tank is gray, gray release valve. And then you put your storage hose for your black tank in here. Okay, let me get over here and shut it. There you go. All right. All right, that's a little bit about the outside of it. Let's go inside. All right, before we step inside, I forgot to mention the awning. It's a power awning. That means it's arm power awning. So you get the rod here. You just put it in and I kind of, it was a little jammed right there. So I kind of unjammed it with the rod just a little bit. It'll come out and it's really easy to do. It's not huge, but it does the job. You wanna put a couple chairs, a little table under here. There you go. And it's like a canvas awning. Um, I don't see it. You can come in here and look at it real close. It doesn't have any like tears or rips in it. Of course, I haven't sat under it in the rain if it has a little pinhole. Um, I would know if it, we were in the rain and it drips in, but uh, I don't see anything right off the hand. Okay, um, I'll just leave it open for a little bit. Just a couple more things. If you look at it, the paint's in beautiful shape. You can tell it was kept in the garage. There's not very many nicks on it. There is one more, one nick up here. Kind of forgot to mention, just like a road chip. That's about it. Maybe the Chevy emblem is a little faded. Pretty much that's it. Uh, but it's in beautiful shape. The roof looks beautiful. Before look we step it. inside, uh, we did just want to point out, it's got a, a little patio light 
Uh, as you can hear, we've already got the generator running. It's got an Onan Gen Start generator. It's only got 62 hours on it. As you step inside, notice there's four leather captain's chairs instead of cloth. Uh, cloth. It's leather. Uh, the carpet's fairly pretty new. Um, I, we just have these throw carpets down, but everywhere else is vinyl. Um, if you point, look at this, um, we've got a backup monitor. When I go for a test drive, I'll, I'll point it out to you. We just put a brand new backup monitor color, backup monitor. We took the old radio out. That's the old one, the old system, the old radio CD player. And we put the brand new backup monitor in it. Uh, it's got all around tinted windows, uh, curtains, all the curtains so you can shut, that, shut it for privacy. Little cup holders everywhere. Um, I like the driver's side. The driver's has, has a cup holder too there. I think it's got something in the middle. You can put other things in it. All right, let's step back into the kitchen area. It's got a coffee maker. Uh, the previous owners put this down. That way it doesn't rattle or come off. I like the sink. And I really like this right here. It's got a little slide out for a two burner stove. So when you, instead of taking it off, you put it right here. It slides over here so you can have extra cooking space, storage space for your, whatever you're doing. Okay. There you go. Small refrigerator with an ice uh, freezer up there. Um, and check this out. It's really kind of neat. It's got a little pull-out thing for uh, canned goods, canned items. Really nice space saver. And if you look at the floor, the floor is really all what we just kind of put these store ru throw rugs down in there so we don't track any. Here's the bathroom, shower, and a sink. A little storage area under the sink. And there's a curtain for it in this closet, and I'll point that out in a minute. Lots of storage space. Here's your little cupboard to hang up any clothes. That's the shower for the curtain. Um, these are the tables. For, to put a table on. There's one up in front and there's also one right here. You put the little pole and put the table here and you have a table up front too. Uh, little curtains all around. Tented windows back here. Screen. Well, you can open this door. Another cup holder right here. Nice. And check this out. Um, it's a power bed. Hold on a minute. Let me step over here and get out of its way. Power bed. And then you put a couple more pillows down. Very easy. Lots of curtains. So when you go to sleep, you have your nice privacy if you're in a shopping store, shopping lot, or whatever. Okay, um, let's go ahead and go on a test drive. I'll show you the backup monitor and see how this thing drives. Okay, like I said before, there's a backup monitor color that's brand new. Here's the stereo. Pretty good. Okay. All right. It's also got power, got power windows, tinted windows, all pretty much all around. Power locks. It's got a tilt steering wheel. You see? I always make it kind of low so I can see over it. Uh, tinted windows, power windows, and you can see the back monitor. Got pretty good power. It's just like driving a, a truck. And I meant to me mention. The nice thing about um, these, the tires, it's got pretty new tires. Also, when you have to replace the tires, they're, they're like a regular size tire, car or truck cut tire. It's not like a big motorhome tire, so you're saving a little bit out on that. Um, also, the seats, uh, uh, they slide up back and forth. So that's not power, and the back, back of it is not power, um, but it's got a lumbar. I think it's on this side. A lumbar support, that is power. It's on the... Uh, pilot's chair and the co-pilot's chair. It's got the lumbar support, which is really nice if you're driving on a long trip. The nice thing about this is that you can pull into a regular parking space and it fits. That's the beauty of it. It's got cruise control. Um, it's got seats that uh, the handle comes up and down. Sometimes I put it up, sometimes down. If you're going on a long trip and you're just holding the steering wheel, it's nice to have something for your elbow. Um, Get on the highway. This is my first ever test drive on the camera anyway. I am going at 35, 40, 45. Feels good. I like the mirrors. The mirrors are nice and big. And I kind of like, I like having the backup monitor always on. 
I just kind of like keeping that. And you see it. It's nice. I just kind of like seeing if something's coming up behind me, an 18 wheeler or whatever. All right, I'm going at 60. Feels really good. Doesn't feel like it's pulling either way. Um, feels really tight. I'm not gonna play around with this steering wheel too much. I'm going 65. So that's it. I'm gonna hop off the highway here. Like I said, it drives good. I don't feel any shaking. I don't feel like it's going all over. Like a lot of times you'll drive a gas coach because they're real tall and they're basically a box on wheels. Um, they have a lot of going back and forth. I don't feel like that at all. I feel like I'm, in, I'm, I'm just driving a, a truck or a car. Um, that'll conclude our video. Uh, look at our pictures. And if you've got any questions, call or text us. If we don't answer the phone, please text us. We like text because you just say you're interested in this 2007 road track. Uh, the number to call is 864-404-0054. Uh, call or text. We work by appointment only, so give us a call. Let us know you want to come see it. Come check it out in person. Thanks for watching.